Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to add lots of personality to a cookie cutter condo. What I mean by a cookie cutter condo is, you know, your typical downtown condo that has white walls, maybe concrete, hardwood floors. I feel like when you move into a space like this, it can be overwhelming. How do I add my own personality to this and not look like my neighbor's condo next door? So I'm gonna make it really simple in this video and give you 10 easy easy ways to add style and personality to your space. Even if you do one or two of these things, you're on your way to having a space that really feels like yours. So a little backstory here. Lindsay reached out to me a couple months ago with an email that said, help, I have a condo, it has lots of beautiful natural light, I have the main pieces, I have a dining table, I have dining chairs, I have a beautiful couch, I have a coffee table, but I just don't know how to add color and personality to my space. And Lindsay's main concern was, I don't know where to start. Like I know what I like, but I just just don't know how to put it all together. So I'm here to transform this very beautiful apartment into a space that feels a little bit more like Lindsay. And I really wanna add lots of color because it is very white, it's very stark, and it's feeling a bit cold. It doesn't feel like a cozy, warm apartment, but I'm here to help. So the first and maybe the most important thing is art. Picking your art is a really good place to start when you're outfitting your space. You can really start to plan out your color scheme. My rule of thumb is to pick three colors that you love and then kind of work those colors into every aspect of your decor. So for Lindsay's condo, I've picked a really pretty peach color, it's not quite pink, forest green, and a mauvey color. And those are going to be the three colors that I kind of turn to whenever I'm looking for a new piece of decor. Lindsay likes nature, so I picked these really cool palms that are like swaying in the wind. I thought it was very California cool. And this picture has a little bit of pink in it. It picks up the gray of the couch. And I just thought it was a great kind of standout piece without being too over the top. Because you guys all know, if I, if I had my way, I'd go like over the top. Pom poms everywhere, pink everywhere, but I had to scale it back a little bit. The second thing you wanna consider is a rug. And just like your art, this is something you probably wanna buy um, in the beginning stages of planning out your space because a rug really is going to tie your whole space together. Personally, I love something with some pattern, lots of texture, a little bit of color. It's like art for your floors. And in a small space, you can really go all out with this. Every big ticket item that you pick for your condo um, or your small apartment should have some sort of impact. So don't be afraid to go bold. The rug Lindsay has right now, it kind of blends in with the rest of her space. It's almost the shade of her couch and her floors. It just, it doesn't stand out. So if you're wanting to add more color and personality to your space, Pick a rug with a bit of color or a pattern. Keeping with the kind of neutral feel, I went with a Moroccan-inspired rug. It has these beautiful braid tassels at the end. It's got this geometric pattern on it. So again, it's not going way over the top. It's not like a pink rug, but it's got that pattern and that texture, and it's really going to stand out in this living room. The third thing you wanna consider is a floor lamp. Now this is one of those items that, you know, if you don't wanna splurge on a big piece of art or a new rug, go out and get a floor lamp. There's tons of options out there. You don't have to spend tons of money and really look for something that is bold, beautiful, and is going to stand out. So just like your rug, your floor lamp should act as an art piece. Actually, any kind of light in your home should be um, a statement piece, but especially when you're talking about a floor lamp. The one she has now is kind of rickety. Again, it's very neutral, it doesn't pop. I would advise you to look for something that's visually interesting like this light. It's got this beautiful round shade, it's got the really sleek gold base, and then you have the marble on the bottom. This light is from Article and I need to buy one for myself because I love it so much. Extra seating is crucial in a small space, especially a cookie cutter condo like this one. But if you don't wanna splurge on a chair, 
go with something a little smaller. So I found this really cute footstool. This is just gonna tuck right under the coffee table and it's gonna be um, a stool that Lindsay can pull out when she has guests over. So when it's not in use, it's tucked away and hidden. Another small change you can make is with knobs or changing out the hardware of your existing furniture. I've said this one before, but it really is the easiest way to do it. And I'm just changing out the ones Lindsay has on her media console. They almost look like glass, they're flowers, they're really pretty, but they just don't stand out. So I got these beautiful knobs from Zara Home. So with all those little details that you just wanna put a little bit of extra thought into to make your whole space feel that much more alive and personal and unique. This is a big ticket item, but I actually feel like it solves a lot of problems for condo owners. So a lot of people ask me like, I have this empty corner in my apartment or this weird alcove, what do I do with it? Put a bar cart in that little nook or alcove. It looks beautiful, you can keep all of your drinks on display, you can even use it to display coffee table books, it doesn't just have to be for alcohol. Lindsay and I talked about putting chairs under her island, but I just felt like it would cramp up her space. I love how open and airy this space feels already. So I just thought maybe sliding a bar cart underneath that island would free up that space that they're using to house their alcohol now, and it just is gonna look really pretty on display. So a lot of condos have these really long blank walls and you don't want to fill a long continuous wall up entirely with art unless you're doing a gallery wall. But because I've got this big print above the couch, I don't want to fill this empty space with more art. Instead, I'm breaking up the wall a little bit with these amazing hexagon shelves that I found from Etsy. They're handmade, they're beautiful, and I'm hanging them in a cluster right near her dining table. So this is going to separate her living room from her dining room area and be an amazing way to display plants, photographs, artwork. And the best thing about shelving like this is that you can change up what's on it at all times. So it's not like you're stuck with the same piece of art. So my next point is plants and I, I have some notes written down and literally the only thing written down is can't say enough about plants. That's all it says. <laughs> but I really can't say enough about plants. If there is one change you make to your cookie cutter condo, it's fill it with greenery. That's going to instantly transform your space. So put plants on wall shelves so they're draping down the wall. Again, that fills up your white wall. It gives it some personality. Use lots of floor plants. As you guys know, I love putting floor plants in baskets. Now, Lindsay emailed me a couple weeks ago and she was like, hey, um, are there any plants that you can find that like are easy to take care of. I'm like, oh, I hear you. I kill like every plant ever known to mankind, sadly. So I got her this faux monstera plant from Ikea. It's really big and it's just gonna sit right here and add a massive hit of green to her space. And bonus, it's never going to die. <laughs> The last thing you wanna think about um, are throw pillows. Throw pillows are a decor item that you do wanna have some fun with. And especially if you wanna bring lots of um, personality and color to your space. So my rule of thumb when it comes to throw cushions are two basic and one bold. So when I mean basic, I mean like a solid color. For Lindsay's couch, I've gone with this beautiful mauve kind of purpley color. I love this pattern. It's very trendy right now with all the eyes. And it just, again, like makes her couch pop in the space. So on the theme of cushions, I'm also changing out Lindsay's seat cushions. So she has these beige ones right now. Easy way to add color is just throw a colored cushion on your chair or on your couch. Especially in a space that's very neutral and white, you wanna think about texture. Just wanna think about texture, pattern, color, all the things. And that's the space. I am so happy with how this came together. I loved Lindsay's space before. I don't think there was anything wrong with it, but I think it just looks so much more filled with personality now. It's like when you walk into Lindsay's space, you're like, okay, I'm in Lindsay's condo. I'm not in the neighbor's condo next door. I'm in her space. Okay, Lindsay, I'm gonna count to three. Yes. Yeah. Take a few steps forward. All right. <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. One, two, three. Oh my God, it looks 
It looks amazing. It looks so good. It looks like a different place. It looks so much bigger. It does, it looks bigger and brighter. I think the rug is in, like, the rug's perfect. And you have all that open space back there. You know, the I know, it does look on. way bigger in here. It? And your beautiful bookshelf is now on display. Yeah, it's really the light good. was like crowding it. The lamp's amazing. Isn't that, a, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, this looks really great. I love that print a lot. Mm -hmm. Everything was like, I don't know what color to buy, so I'll buy beige. Yeah. Or gray. It looks wonderful. Yeah, it looks really good. So it looks good. like it looks like someone lives here, frankly. Before <laughs> it looks like someone was maybe staying here occasionally, and now it's like, oh, this good. is a home. Someone lives right? here. Yeah, it looks wonderful. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. We have so much fun content that Carla and I have been working on and I, I just can't wait till you guys see it all. So make sure you're subscribed, turn on that bell so you don't miss any new updates from me. And that's it. Thanks guys. <laughs> see you next time.